kids don't have football practice and I got out of work pretty early today so I really wanted to get on this uh, beginning of fall bass fishing um, I don't know if you guys can see this right here 59 degrees so the water starting to cool down real fast so we're gonna get out here uh, we're gonna try a creek first and then we're gonna go to my favorite spot out on the Oklahoma refuge and uh, fish a lake out there so let's see if we can't catch anything guys nice ah little guy that was my fault didn't set the hook I wonder what's upstream from the dam, dude. Nice. Get him in. There we go. Nice hey, little guy, but he's something. Ugh. We get parasites in there. Huh? Parasites in this one. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, come up the same area. <sighs> or is nothing gonna fall out, hand me in. Here. Oh, Hemi. Watch my pole. You're good. All right, guide launch. All right, guys, we just dam hopped, I guess you could call it. That's where we were. Freaking me and Matt just damn hopped. Because it looks really good up here. And obviously deep, so. Alright, let's get in. Alright guys, uh, another thing I'm noticing too here. Is um, I got a fresh water source coming in right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish around this on a little perimeter. See if I can't get any bass trying to get some fresh food coming out of there. All right, now I got their attention with that frog. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this fluke. Cause to me, that just screams there's bass here. Sometimes that's pretty effective, guys. If uh, you throw a frog, immediately throw a, a fluke right after, and uh, sometimes you're, you're gonna get their attention with that frog, regardless, they're looking up. So as soon as you retrieve it, you wanna throw that uh, fluke or whatever plastic you're using right back after it because as soon as it hits the water, they're looking dead at it already. So uh, that works a lot of times with me. That's why I usually this is my usual setup. So 